There we go. There's the big bass I was looking for, baby. Well, good morning, y'all. I know what you're thinking. What is he getting us into today? Well, that's a little bit of a mystery. Well, let's be a little more specific. Got a mystery tackle box. Yep, this one is for bass fishing. I know you guys really, you, you enjoy the crappie content, the pan fishing content, give you a different view of something. I'm out here. We're gonna open this up for the first time. Let's see what we got. I'm gonna take something from here and I'm gonna see if it can actually work. There are some monster bass in these ponds, y'all. Let's go see if we can hook into a big one. All right, y'all, let's see what's in the box. We have a Carl's bait and tackle. Carl's amazing spinner bait. Three eighth ounce mustad hook. Good, good looking color. Okay. We have a 10,000 fish Yoto worm by the catch company, Tickle Tail, 4.75 inch. We'll probably throw that on as a trailer to that spinner bait. We have some big bite baits. Those look like a uh, watermelon crawl. Probably can throw those on a Texas rig, Carolina rig. Don't think I'll use those as a trailer. We have a fish on sticker. Of course, we have what's inside the box. And we have a Guggen Squad banger. Carl's Amazing Bait Spinner Bait, 10,000 Fish Yoda Worm, Big Bite Bait Swimming Crawl, Harmony Fishing Company Razor Series EWG Hooks. We have a Carl Van Dibble Tackle Box book for fishing tips and tricks. There is the Harmony EWG Hook. And there is the Guggen Squad Banger. That looks pretty, I like that that's pretty good colors. Uh, diving depth 2.5 feet, length two and a quarter inch, three eighths of an ounce weight. Okay, let's go see what we can hook into. All right guys, good morning. What we're gonna do is you saw me open that mystery tackle box. What I've decided to go with was the Carl spinner bait. And I'm putting on as a as a trailer, Yoda worm, okay? We're gonna get that out there in the water, see if there's any bass that wanna hit. I'm running a 10 pound braid with a loose reactor speed stick, medium rod. This is a loose reactor R30. That should be enough to get the job done. Stay tuned, let's see what we can hook into. All right guys, we're walking down to this pond right here. What you're gonna wanna do when you're throwing a spinner bait is you wanna target lay downs and some logs and you wanna really stay away from the thick brush because I mean, unless you were a great caster, that's gonna spell trouble. And there's different ways you can fish this. You can cast it out, throw it slow, slow roll it back to you. You do a medium reel or you can kind of do a fast reel depending on the depth of the water. So we're gonna make a couple casts right up through here. Let's see if there's anything that wants to lay into this along these lay downs right here. There's one. <laughs> it's a little one, but there it is. There's our first bass of the day, y'all. With the spinner bait. Not a monster, but we'll take them. Beautiful, nice first bass of the morning. Look at those colors. Look at that. All right, let's get you back in the water. So the bass like to sit in those willows because it's almost like a basket. You just want to bring it down along those willows. Get closer if you can. There, oh, there's another bite. Just missed one. Bring it down along those willows. They're going to come out and strike it. Slow roll it down through this. These willows kind of serve as a basket when there's no wind. And the bass like to just sit in them and come out, strike. Hit their, hit whatever it is that they're going to want to eat. And then go back into that basket. So you just want to kind of put this out there where they're kind of in there waiting. There's one. Oh yeah, there we go. There's another nice one, y'all. Look at that. 
that's number two today on this spinner bait. Ripping lips, y'all, ripping lips. Look at that beauty. Okay, let's let it go. Hey y'all, one of the great things about fishing this spinner is this right bar right here is what keeps it, pretty much makes it weedless. This will hit anything and it'll bump right over top of it. Just doing a nice slow retrieve. Trying to see if I can entice anything to come out from the brush. All right, so far guys, we've gotten two decent strikes, two decent bass. Looking for something a little bit bigger. What you want to keep doing is breaking down the pond. So get to an area where there's lay down structure, gonna fan cast it. Okay, try different retrieves. You can either slow roll it, okay, which is about one turn per second. You can speed it up. You, you can kind of, there's different actions you could do with it based off of what you think you see the fish are doing. The bigger bass like to sit in these willows. They almost form a perfect basket. Gives them the chance to come out and ambush whatever bait that they're wanting to feed on that day. So you just want to bring it right down the edge of those willows. I am not a bass fisherman by any means. It doesn't mean that you don't get out there and try to become better. The only way you're going to learn is to get out there and go try it. There we go. There we go. That's a better bass. That's number three, guys. So far, three decent bass. Take a look at that one. Beautiful. Very nice. Let's let it go. There she is. Come here. Ah, uh, not that big, but it's a chunk. Right in on the weeds, y'all. That's what we're looking for. Yes, yes, yes. Nice. Look at that. That's the one we were looking for, guys. Hey, thank you for playing. Nice, beautiful one, guys. That's what we're out here for. That's what we're looking for. Right in along the willows. You kind of want to get them to come out from those willows. They're kind of sitting in there like a basket. The way the willow comes up and sits in the water. You got to get it right on them. Make them want to come out and hit it. Now see how I'm going to break this down. As I'm entering this pond, there's a chance because there's a willow there they're gonna, and some algae. They're giving you some bass in there. I got a lay down over here that I'm going to take a look at and there's one over there. We're going to step right in here right off the bat though. See what we could do with this first piece of brush. I'd be willing to bet that there's a decent sized bass right in there. If I get the right kind of cast in there to entice them. Got him right off the bat. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that, y'all. That is what we're talking about. Look at that. Wearing them out today. All right. Boom. That's what I'm talking about. All right, guys, let's get this one released. Very nice. Thank you for playing. Yep, so there was one right in there in that tree, that willow like I thought there would be. Okay, that brings this video to an end. You guys saw how effective that combination was of the spinner bait with the trailer. I'm not sponsored by Mystery Tackle Box. I saw someone sell, went and grabbed them, wanted to see what they look like. I want to bring you the real stuff in real time in a real environment. I hope you all enjoyed this video and we'll see you on the next cast.